Hi folks, this is a short tutorial, which uh, this is the we covered in lesson nine. It's on the SS Punyan case on whether uh, this company's decision on whether to buy res dead or not dead on a on a ship where they can hopefully salvage or scrap. So our first thing I'm gonna do is create a decision tree heading to influence diagram is to click the top the here decision tree. Then I create a node. First thing I'm gonna do is create a payoff node. I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna call it cost of deal. Next thing I'm gonna do is I create a decision node. I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna call it bid amount. So that the company can choose to bid or not bid. The outcomes here have two outcomes, potential outcomes. And uh, that's the extent. We don't really have to fill these out unless we put values in there. In this case, we're just trying to create uh, the influence diagram. Next thing I'm going to do is create a calculate, calculation node. Call it a winning bid. So if you, if you win the bid, there's a calculation there. And um, so right now I'm just creating the nodes for the decision tree. I can create, I mean, it's it's an art. I can also create the, uh, all the nodes then create the arcs or I can create nodes and arcs at the same time. So I'm just doing all the nodes first. So here I want to do the highest competitor bid as a chance node. And I'm going to put it here. Then uh, last, uh, I can move these around. You can see it's not definite not like the decision tree. It's a little more constrained. So moving these around to give it a better look. Then I'm, the last one I'm going to do is a chance node. And I'll put it here temporarily. I call it Coast Guard Judgment. The, the key here is that Coast Guard makes the judgment after the bid has already been done. And it's a chance node. So now I create the arcs. So for influence arcs, I just click the top here. And so for bid amount, I'm going to go from bid amount to winning bid with an arc. And then from uh, Another influence arc from bid amount to payoff. <clears throat> Next, I want to do is uh, create a influence arc from the highest bidder, competitor bid, to the winning bid. And the last arc I'm going to do is from the Coast Guard judgment. I mean, Coast Guard judgment to the cost cost of the deal, which is payoff. This actually, this payoff I can call, I want to call it cost of deal. And now I have one more arc. I need the winning bid arc to go to the cost of deal payoff node. And now I can just move some stuff around here, move these nodes around. It's a little more presentable. Here, so I'm done with my influence diagram. So, what I want to do here is I want to place a little note here so you guys can see is that the, the NA you see at the top in the table appears, uh, appears because the, this diagram presents the structure of the problem. And uh, we we have not uh, entered these values. So for your uh, fuel assessment last credit lab, you won't have to input these values up here. Don't worry about them. 
um, we're focusing on decision trees. That's our focus uh, actually in this course on the analysis and decision trees. For now, we're gonna just we're just gonna um, this is sufficient in terms of creating an influence diagram. And that's all. That's all it is for influence diagrams.